You're on SBS Pop Ages K Wave, and I'm Rome, the leader of the K pop boy band C Clown. Now it's time for one of the best parts of the show answering your questions from Facebook and Twitter. Straight into it. Here's at Rainbow Red Dreams. No, sorry, at Rainbow River. Rainbow Dreams. What will you do for your upcoming birthday? No, it's my birthday. Oh. Oh, I didn't even know it was my birthday. Um, what do I do? What do you do on your birthdays? Honestly, I spent my past, I guess, four years in Korea and my yeah, past birthdays in Korea. I have honestly no idea what I'll do. And um, I think one of the best things I can do is spend it with my family back in Australia. But who knows? Who knows? Mm-mm. What do you guys like to do on your birthdays? Please send in your、uh, mentions and I'll just read them. I'll see. Okay, so this is a good idea. I might do that. All right, so、um, send them in at Rome underscore C Clown or at SBS Pop Asia and I'll definitely check it out.、Mm-hmm. So, straight into the next one is one from at Remune. Have you listened to Dami Im or met her in Korea? No, I've seen her on The X Factor. Amazing, amazing performance. A performer, sorry. And、uh, she does do amazing performances. Absolutely beautiful. And、uh, maybe, yes, if she's in Korea, I'll definitely try go meeting her and maybe take a picture with her or just get to know her. But definitely、uh, from one Australian to another.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean. But wow, okay, so I have to, guess I have to look into that.、Um, next one is、uh, from the Facebook.、Uh, here's one from Kathleen Tran. How did you get to be on Dream Team when you were a trainee? I still remember the blonde hair you had. Okay, so I cannot believe you brought this up, but yes,、uh, when I was a trainee, we went. I, my first ever show was Dream Team, and it was, like a, it was like a special episode where they got 30, I guess, singers, actors,、um, just like trainees like me, and it was just like a little competition. And my name's h e o n g was there at that time. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't believe that. And、um, luckily, I passed through and I made it out of the 30, I guess. Um, trainees, singers, actors, and it's really, really a big step up for me. And I did have blonde hair.、Uh, I guess my company、uh, my company put in a good word of me, and yeah, that's how I got into Dream Team. But it was really fun. Yep. Here's one from Terry G. What is your favorite accessory? Okay, my favorite accessory、uh, would probably have to be I said necklace, right? A long time ago, I said necklace. But my favorite accessory would have to be my SBS Pop Agent app. Is that an accessory? Yeah, I, I think that's an accessory. I want, to, I want to think of it as an accessory. But definitely,、uh, it's just something that you guys have to always tune into. Because, yeah,、um, it's just that much of an awesome show.、Mm-hmm. Next one is Nani. I was wondering, Oppa, who is the most annoying member and who is the most quiet member? Big love. <laughs> Most annoying member would probably have to be Kang Jun. The most quiet member would probably have to be me. Yep. I'm serious, there's no quiet member. Like before, there was,、uh, there were, there was a quiet member, but now I think everyone is just the same. We share the same chemistry. We are all annoying, okay? I will, I'll give you that. We're all annoying.、Um, it's just who's more annoying than the other? And I just think Kang Jun's really annoying. <laughs> But you know, I love everyone, right? I love Kang Jun. I love all my members. And the most quiet member would be me because I guess I'm the oldest and I just, I'm just too tired all the time.、Mm-hmm. So, more questions, please. You can send those on Twitter at Rome underscore C Clown at SBS Pop Asia or you can post on the SBS Pop Asia Facebook page. Time to hear SM Entertainment's new girl group. It's Red Velvet with Happiness. This is the SBS Bob Ages K Wave with Rome from C Clown. You can tweet me at Rome underscore C Clown at SBS Pop Asia or, you know, post on the Pop Asian Facebook page and I hope I'll get to all of them.、Mm. Straight into the next,、uh, I guess, as Twitter. This is one from at XO underscore shiny underscore suju. So I'm guessing you're a big SM fan. Who is the most, em- no, sorry, what is the most embarrassing thing either you or the members have done? Most embarrassing, embarrassing, the embarrassing thing would probably have to be. Oh, wow. I mean, we do a lot of embarrassing things, like, but I think one of the most embarrassing things would be when one of my members、uh, actually burped when the mic was on 
uh, when we were on one of the music broadcasting stations. I will not mention where that was, but one of my members forgot the mic was open, like it was open, so it was on, and he burped, and he accidentally burped. I don't know why, but I was like, Rrr. and then it just kind of uh, echoed out through the whole broadcasting station, and everything went silent. And that was a really embarrassing for us. Yep. Next one is from at Taylor Hen. What is your favorite song at the moment? Oh, I've been listening to this quite a lot. It's uh, yeah, I'm just putting it now. Absolutely, I love it. So yeah, guys, um, it's uh. Lost Stars by, of course, Adam from uh, Maroon 5. And uh, it's just one of my favorite songs right now because I just, I'm in that kind of mood where, have you guys seen, have you watched that movie? I think it's Begin Again. It's an absolutely beautiful movie, really well made. Um, definitely all shot on red camera, by the way, the red, the red camera. Something I really want later in the future. And just the kind of style that I want to shoot later in the future as well. So it's just an amazing film. And uh, definitely the song, the OST that came out from that is just uh, just one of the most beautiful songs yet. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of the old Maroon 5 stage. So I think that's why I like it more. Because I'm a big fan of Maroon 5. <clears throat> but anyway, that's my favorite song. Um, next is from uh, Facebook. And this is from Hen Yumin. To Barum, I want to ask you if you like skydiving or have you ever tried it before? I love skydiving, I love the thrill of things, but I've never tried something like that before, but I definitely hope I can try it. Um, skydiving for me is, I guess, one of the things on my bucket list, one of the things I really want to do uh, later in the future, so definitely I'm going to try to tick that off once I get that done. And I heard Australia has some good places for skydiving, so we'll just look into that, we'll look into that, who knows. Um, but yeah, now guys, um, thank you so much for your messages and posts. And if you're listening on the Pop Asia website or Digital Radio, remember you can listen from anywhere around the world if you download the Pop Asia app on your mobile phone. It's a free, guys. I'll say that it's a free. So coming up on the K Wave, guys, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm going to be up to next week. And uh, yeah. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. You don't want to miss that out. So it's time for Infinite and back on SBS Pop Asia with Rome. It's Infinite back. You're listening to the K-Wave on SBS Pop Asia in Australia. And I'm an Australian. The name's Rome from the K-Pop Boy Band. And guys, uh, hopefully we, see clown will be, I guess, going. we're actually going to our, our preparation for our comeback very soon. But before that, we have some performances, uh, concerts in Japan. The KMF is coming up where we perform with VIX and Speed. It's a big stage in Japan. A lot of fans will be coming. Hopefully, if you're in Japan at that time, you can come by and say hi. Why do I always link that? Why do I always re make that sound like a rhyme? But anyway, you get my point. And um, yeah, definitely. I know what our next song is like. And I told you guys before, it's just one of the best songs I've ever uh, heard or come across. And it's a C Clown song. So you guys will be so, so into that. Maybe I should give you a little preview. Ready? No, I was kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do these kind of things. I know you hate me for it. But guys, anyway, C Clown is preparing a lot for you guys, and um, hopefully you guys will just uh, show us more love on SBS Pop Asia and for C Clown and for Rome, of course. And like I said before, I might be going back home very soon. So if I if you do happen to see me on the streets of Sydney, um, you know, because I do go out a lot when I'm in Australia, just don't be afraid to come by and say hi. Yeah, and you know, be like, you know, let's take a picture together. And I'm like, yeah, sure. You want a hug? I'll give you a hug. Um, but yeah, definitely. Just come by and say hi. And that's it. And that's the Sea Clown's, uh, I guess, scheduled plans for this upcoming uh, seasons. Mm -hmm. 
that's it for this week's show. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, and sending in your questions. I really love hanging out with you each week. And thank you so much for taking time out on your busy schedule to listen to this lovely show. We'll be together again next Thursday after Hashtag Hits with Jamaica and Andy. And if you want to hear the show again on demand, head to sbs.com.au slash popasia and the repeat schedules are there too. This weekend, Sea Clown, like I said, going into um, supposedly, I guess, the comeback preparation. Yes, do, do not do not go anywhere, and please show some love for us and SBS Pop Asia. Also on Sunday, new time from September the seventh, it's Pop Asia TV, nine a.m. on SBS two. Look out for our music videos. And uh, now I'll leave you guys with another Aussie boy in Korea. Shout out to Prince Mark from JJC. Here is the boys' latest called One Way. See you next week on the K Wave. Bye.